Hey guys, Sandbrix, and guys, before the video starts, we're actually going to be doing a giveaway, guys, uh, when we reach 3,000 subscribers, and the thing we're going to be giving away is actually going to be something really, really cool, and that's, of course, going to be the Godzilla Playmates um, Gorosaurus, and this figure, guys, is really rare to find right now of time of this recording. So far, I only found once and, of course, one target. And that's of course pretty insane. I've been trying to look for this figure for a while. Finally found one and I'm actually going to give it away. I'm actually going to do that when we reach 3,000 subscribers. And that's of course something a pretty really cool giveaway. Most likely some of you will like. Um, but we don't know other stuff we might do later on in the future. But that's so far I have an idea right there. We're going to do a giveaway for the Gorosaurus. So when we reach 3,000 of course we're going to be giving it away. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye. Hey guys, Sandbrix, and guys, wow, today's been a crazy day for me, uh, but let's just get started with this, and I'm actually pretty excited. So this was, of course, the Prime 1 Showcase um, that happened, of course, a couple days ago. Um, it was, I think, Thursday night, and it's already Saturday, technically, actually Sunday. But we're going to be talking about some of these, of course, products right here really quick, and there's so many that I really want to talk about, so I'm just going to make a one video right here, me just going on the video right here talking about them so pretty excited so here's of course the first one right here and out the bat that's of course going to be mega godzilla from godzilla versus kong this right here is an incredible piece and wow this thing looks incredible but there's some little issues i do have with the, the little statue right here and that's of course going to be the posing a little bit i'm not the biggest fan of this pose of the head looking down um looks kind of weird i do know there's a different option of the head being a little bit up i think it's like right here um i think it's one of these i don't know if it's actually gonna show but it's still a really cool statue maybe if i see of course the final of course product for the i guess the other head sculpt but so far it only shows this one um but i do know there's a second head sculpt i can't wait to see that one but so far the statue does look amazing um the base looks really cool the painting for of course the whole statue itself looks amazing i know it has some light up features right here i think also these um dorsal um dorsal fins part right there also light up so that's also really cool um i'm just gonna wait until the price to see for pricing i have no idea godzilla was around two thousand um this one doesn't have of course those huge buildings but it does have this chrome um of course paint job right here and i know that's of course a little bit more expensive too um as a price maybe around 1500 um maybe around at around the eight around the price oh my gosh i can't even say it the price around 1500 to 2000 around there i want to say but i could be wrong but i guess we'll wait and see um so far it looks pretty big um, I don't know if it's going to come with any other, of course, parts. So far, probably the only piece I probably will come with is, of course, the head sculpt more up. But I think that's pretty much it. But other thing we do see right here is, of course, these Godzilla figures right here. These look amazing. Um, so far, we don't really too much about them, minus their vinyl. I guess we'll wait and see for those. But that's a really cool one right there. Can't wait to see, of course, the pricing because I most likely will definitely pick up one of them for sure. That's Mega Godzilla right there. Uh, pretty cool piece. And this piece right here, this next one right here, shock me. This right here, the Pacific Rim. Uh, I forgot the character's name. Um, Danger, um, Percy. Oh my god, I completely forgot the name. Uh, but this, of course, version right here from the first movie. Completely hate the second one, so thank god they didn't do that one. But this piece right here shocked me. I know they gave us the first tease on the last showcase. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. But this right here... I actually might be tempted to get it. I really am. This, of course, statue right here looks incredible. Uh, most likely no scale, but was most likely around like 30 inches around there. 25 to 30 something. I could be wrong. I'm just guessing, to be honest. But so far, it looks like. Um, but I know for sure this is taller than the Batman statue I have. Or actually, it could be the exact same. But this right here looks incredible. I'm just waiting for the price, of course, until pre-orders also come out. I'm definitely, if I do get this, I'm definitely going to pose them with the two knives out because that look really cool. And another piece right here next to it is insane. This bust right here is detailed. Wow. It, it, I just can't believe they actually released this one. This one is going to cost expensive. And I'm actually really curious to see who's going to pre-order this. Even my brother was actually really shocked with this piece right here he actually loves it i love it too but i don't think of course can afford this one um it's gonna cost really expensive i know that for sure um there was a shot right here it shows 
Um, I actually, I guess I should talk about this. It also comes with a different version, it looks like, with, of course, arms. Um, that looks insane, of course. But that's, of course, going to cost really expensive. But I hope I can find a picture. Doesn't look like it can. But I guess that's the closest. But you can actually open the helmet right here. And you can, of course, see the characters right there. And that's really cool looking. The detail right there is going to be insane in there. It's also really cool because they're doing the fist pose right there. And then, of course, if you get the deluxe version, he's, of course, doing the pose right there. So that's a really cool piece right there. For pricing, I have no idea. I don't even want to know, to be honest. But it's probably going to cost around over maybe $2,000 for sure. Um, the Godzilla ones were like around 1,800 and Kong was like 3,000. So it's around that price most likely because it's just, of course, um, polysone or resin, most likely one of those. And so it should cost around there. I think maybe around 2,500, but to be honest, I don't really know because there's, of course, going to be a regular and a non, um, without the arms. That's what I mean. But that's, of course, that piece. Lord of the Rings, uh, haven't finished the series, but so far I have finished Hobbit. It was amazing movies. Um, so far, I have watched, I think, the first Lord of the Rings. Pretty good so far. But right now, I'm really liking The Hobbit, of course, I've seen. So, I'm not going to be talking about that. The next piece I'm going to be talking about right here is actually Jurassic Park. This piece right here, I was wondering what it's going to be. I already ordered my Spinosaurus. I should be coming in the mail. And when I saw Lost World, I got so excited because it could be the Raptors. It could be the T-Rex. It could be a lot of things, actually. So I was really happy to see, of course, they decided to do the part with, of course, not the Jeep part, but, of course, with the uh, this kind of, of course, car with the two T-Rexes. So this is amazing. I was so shocked they did it. I'm really sad they only showed us a prototype. So most likely the next showcase will show us the, of course, painted and, of course, um, with everything. The scale, we have no idea. It could be 115th. It could be a little bit smaller because this looks good. It's actually going to be huge if this is going to be... 115th oof i don't even know but i know for sure this piece right here is gonna be expensive the other thing i'm really curious to see are they actually gonna add the character in the car um because they're gonna have to because it's one of the more important scenes and there was a person in the car i forgot the guy's name but that's gonna be of course really interesting to see hopefully of course we get to see the final product in a couple of course months when we the next showcase um the other thing they showed was this predator thing they showed like a predator bus this i may be i might be interested yeah this right here but from seeing and hearing i think this might be a mini bust so if it's a mini bus i don't think so but still looks really cool but if it's a big bust that'd be insane actually another piece they showed was of course they got the license for matrix I actually never seen the films um always wanted to but they i never just i tried to watch the first one but i completely stopped watching it i don't know why the other thing they got the license for is Mortal Kombat. Really disappointing because it was actually for the film. Never liked the film. I was so disappointed. I know some of you might like it, but it's just for me, it wasn't good. Witcher, never played it. Want to. Ghost, uh, what do you call it? Ghost of Tsushima, I think. Um, wanted to play it, but haven't yet. Um, the, it's just cuties, whatever you call those things. I think the next show. Yeah, they showed off this anime statue. Um, have not seen it, but was tempted to watch it. Ghost in the Shell, nothing really important there for me. Um, the yeah, DC, they showed it off, of course, a review, I guess, of this Batman statue. Really excited to see, of course, um, the movie, of course, for this one right here. Really excited. Most likely will buy this bus because the trailer for the last one was amazing. But first, if, of course, do pre-order this item, I'm most likely going to see, of course, the film first. But this head scope right here looks really good. Can't wait to, of course, see the film, though. So, that's going to be a maybe. They showed off, of course, the new Suicide Squad pieces right here. Um, pretty cool, but not for me right now because don't really have space for that. Um, the Batman Beyond statue is pretty cool, but I don't think it's a piece that I will buy. Because so far, the head scopes for me didn't really surprise me. Um, this looks like a cool piece, but not really for me because I haven't read the comics for that one. And really big, actually. Like, look how sick that looks. Really cool. Also has the uh, Bat Who Laughs Robin right there. It's really cool. And that's pretty much it uh, for that. I think this Flash statue look amazing. I'm waiting for the final, of course, product for this one. We just got a little tease of it right here. Um, I might be interested in that one because right there, that looks amazing. Right there, that looks really, really cool. I actually never saw that. Captain Cold. I think that's his name with this um, gun right there. Really cool looking statue. Might be interested in that. Uh, we just wait and see. 
Oh, this next piece right here was pretty sick. Um, it said right here, Zack Snyder, of course, Justice League. I didn't really thought about it, but we could have got a freaking dark, um, uh, what do you call it? Dang it, the nightmare scene Batman with, of course, the, the cloak and everything. Really cool. That could have been really cool. One third. I would definitely buy it. Um, but I didn't know we were actually going to get a freaking bad tank right here this one right here looks really cool um i'm definitely most likely will purchase this <laughs> i'm a huge fan of Zack Snyder. love his the of course the new or one of the justice league um really really good movie i like it a lot this was a cool really cool um easter egg they added right there in the crystal movie of the bad tank from of course dark knight returns so this is really cool might be interested in this um it just matters of course with the price i know they released one for the arkham one for 1500 so this most likely will be the same price as that or maybe 2000 because it's of course a bigger car but i guess we'll wait and see i think i heard the scale for this like for usually for these are like one tenth but to be honest, I don't really know. Um, they just showed Harley, of course, from Suicide Squad. I think the pre-order came out for that. I was actually really shocked how expensive that is. Um, I forgot this guy's name. Constantine, there you go. Um, pretty interesting piece. Um, I did like him in one of the movies I recently saw. I think it was called Justice League War. That was pretty good. Um, I really like Constantine a little bit. But this statue for me for the portrait didn't really like it too much. Um, this this piece right here is actually pretty cool the crocodile batman um that's a pretty cool piece but most likely won't purchase because it's gonna be really expensive um this piece right here was pretty interesting i think this person's called punchline punchline or something like that i'm sorry if i said it wrong but this piece looked cool actually the joker also looked really nice um for a second i was gonna say the joker looked cool when i first saw it but then when this pose of him sitting down looked kind of weird but when I saw that, that looked really cool. And then I also saw he has a cross-legged. Um, his ex could be crossed like that. So I'm most likely might be interested in this. Like right there, there you go. That to me looks really cool. So if this is a good price for the Joker, I might get that. Because that look right there, that pose looks really cool. He's holding some kind of batarangs. He has the Batman mask right there cracked. And it looks really cool actually. So I might be interested in that. It just matters with the price and what scale. But it's a cool piece right there. Um, another one right here is probably the best one for, of course, the DC section right here. Um, this was, of course, really cool. We're actually going to get, of course, a Prime 1 Studio statue of the Batcave. That right there is incredible. Um, this piece and, of course, the Prime 1 um, Pacific Rim both shock me. So I think this is the one that really is tied with that one. This right here just finally, like a, like a statue like this. I know there were some like third-party ones, I think, but I... Don't even know how much worth that and like everything but this is gonna be expensive um people are saying it's most likely to be one third i guess we'll wait and see but dang it's gonna be expensive really cool though um i can't wait to see of course like the the product and everything like that and it's really cool in the back it shows of course the back cave um with the batmobile and everything pretty cool i um, might be interested in it just of course it matters with price and everything but really cool piece i think that's pretty much it with everything right there guys um hopefully of course the next showcase they maybe show of course berserk i know they're gonna take a little break from that because of um the passing um that was really sad but hopefully they could of course show of course berserk products next of course year when we of course see them um maybe of course get updates for the jurassic park statue and the thing that really disappointed me actually i forgot to say is that they did not show the the last of us and the uncharted statue that we've been teased for like a I think i want to say almost a year now they said they got the license but they never of course show us it we thought we we're going to show it this um this showcase but they didn't that's kind of shocking um so that's by the only disappointment right there hopefully we finally get the of course final product for that how that looks because i really like uncharted really want to see that last of us look pretty cool i played a, a couple of it i have not played the second one but i also think i heard they're making a second one for that one i guess we'll wait and see but that's of course my thoughts for of course the showcase let me know if of course any of you are a big fan of of course these showcases to me they're really cool um i think it's probably one of the best ones i really like watching but i'll of course let you guys know if anything else have a guys a good day bye